I went to a very old theater to see this movie. This is a movie theater I've never been to. I was doing something this morning and I was in the air and I had time to go do this, to go see the movie. I was like, it's an hour and 30 minutes, I'll go see it. And so I went to like an old timey theater. That was the best experience seeing this old theater. But the movie itself, like, come on, really? Slender Man. If my voice sounds raggedy or itchy or anything like that, it's because I do have like a tiny cold at the moment. So if, I, if there's a lot of cutting in this video, it's because I'm coughing. But anyway, this movie is about the famous game, whatever. I think it's about the game. Even though like a, year, a few years ago, some incident happened with two little girls like killing uh, one of their friends because Slender Man told them so. And a bunch of controversy happened. This movie was supposed to be released. And then it got made. And then it got delayed. And now it's out. And no one knows it's out because they haven't advertised it. I've only seen like one trailer and that was back in like February or January. That was, It was a while when I saw that trailer. And I saw that teaser poster and I was like, that's a cool poster. When is that coming out? And it came out this weekend and I was like, oh, alright, let's go see Slender Man. And it's exactly what it is. It is not good at all. There is a reason why this movie has a 15% on Rotten Tomatoes last time I checked at least. And I will say this, there is a few creepy, disturbing moments in this movie, but for the most part, I was bored. So the main plot of the movie is basically these four girls watch this video on the internet and basically it's like they're summoning uh, Slender Man and when they summon him, they come after him and it's creepy and he's in the woods, there's a lot of cracking woods and looking around and lots of sunlight, dark imagery kind of stuff, and a lot of rain kind of stuff where it's like all shaky and bugs and it's just, it's like disturbing content you can kind of say. But this movie missed the mark entirely. First things first, I'm gonna go ahead and say this, I know it's a scary movie. And there are some scenes where the darkness, it helps it. Like there is an actual scene in this movie where they're in the woods and it's straight up creepy because of the sound effects not what we see because the sound effects and the mist and how dark it is it had a great atmosphere this movie really did have good atmosphere it did have disturbing imagery at moments like when they start to turn when somebody starts to mess with them they see stuff and like stuff crawling on them and like they their bodies are messed up and they see people faces folded in like there is creepy imagery but that is all this movie is. It's got good sound design at times and good atmosphere darkness in the woods. That is it. Everything else was complete boring trash. You've seen it before. First things first, like I said about the darkness, you know how I said in some scenes it looks really good? Well, in some other scenes, I can't freaking see the movie. I'm not kidding you. There are some scenes in this movie where it is so dark. I don't know who is talking. I don't know what is happening. There are literal scenes where there is a character standing right here. It is pitch black and everything around them is pitch black with a very little light and you cannot see. I mean, you cannot see. And I, I know it's supposed to be scary. And at, when it's in the woods, perfect. Like, it's creepy. There is creepy stuff in that moment. But when they're standing in the house, with lamps on, and there's someone in their hallway, and they're talking through the door, or whatever. I can't see them, and it's it's. I started chuckling. I was like, I can't see. Like I can't see our characters at the moment. And speaking of our characters, these are dumb characters. They're cliche. They have terrible dialogue in the very beginning of this movie. You don't care for the relationship, and one of them starts like, picking off, then the other one gets picked off, and one of them gets picked off. But you never see her get picked off. Her, apparently they try calling her and her mom's like, oh, she's sick, she's not coming to school today. But at, at the end of this movie, you never see what happens to that friend. We have no idea what happened to her. And like, I'm like, what? Like, what, what, what happened? What happened with her? Like, you find out what happens to the other three girls, but that one, she might have got better. I don't know. We have no idea. And there's a character that gets thrown in the very end of this movie and uh, all of a sudden becomes a main character. We're like, we don't even know her name. We we don't even know anything about this girl and she's becoming our main character because this movie had didn't have main character. At first, it was this main girl, whatever, and she was fine and then it switched over to Joey King and then she was main character and then it switched over to her and then you hated Joey King and then you did it and then it's like, you don't have main character. You didn't have good dialogue, and you didn't have good relationships. The characters sucked. And my god, do we really have to talk about Slenderman? Okay, so we all know what he looks like, 
When you see him in this movie, it is the most CGI, they ran out of money, let's just throw a guy in there with a mask and CGI squids around his back. The CGI was really bad and it was so disappointing because I'm telling you, when they're in the woods, there is a creepy good scene with trees breaking, a sound design, and it's like really dark and it's like really creepy. And then you see Slenderman and guess what? He's a big old CGI squiddy thing. And I'm like, mm, no, mm -mm, nope, nope, nope. That is not scary. Took me out of it. And apparently Slenderman can take over FaceTime and kill you because he takes over FaceTime like three times this movie. And it's creepy what he's doing on the camera, but it's like, it leads to nothing. And that's another thing about this movie. It's so boring. Like, I mean, I was bored. I'm not kidding you. It was like, it was halfway through the movie, I thought. And I was like, all right, I'm going to check the time. I picked up my phone, looked at it. It was 32 minutes into the movie. It felt like it's been on for an hour. This pacing sucked. I wanted to fall asleep, and all the darkness in this movie it made me tired. I almost fell asleep. I almost took a nap. It would have been a good nap, too, because I was in an old theater. It would have been awesome. Anyways, so that's the point of this movie. It's boring. The pacing sucks. Characters suck. It's got good, creepy moments of disturbingness. I will admit that. Like, I will 100% there's a scene in the woods. It is creepy because of the sound design and the atmosphere you're looking at. That is it. Everything else sucks. Also, the video they watched, the video that actually, like, arises Slenderman, I liked the video. It reminded me of The Ring, but it was definitely a creepy video. I liked it. But overall, Slenderman, it, it sucked. That's just plain and simple. I'm gonna give it a low D. It is not worth your time. There is a reason why Sony is not advertising this. Because of the controversy, and because it sucks. We don't want it. Why they make it, I don't know. Because you know why? Money. And it's PG-13. This movie should have been R. It should have been R. Anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this review, and I'll see you guys next time.